Welcome to the Grower Workshop. Today, I will show you how to install our trim sets in five easy steps. There are three different types. In this case, it is the GrowTherm Smart Control Thermostat trim set. And the base is always this wonder box, which is installed first. First, exactly determine the later application and functional unit you want to use the Rapido Smart Box for, as this will be decisive for the further installation steps. The Smart Box is installed in or behind a wall depending on the individual wall construction and the available insertion depth. The connection diagrams for the piping are on the front of the Smart Box. Here, the connection patterns differ depending on whether just one hand shower, a bathtub drain or even, for example, a head shower is installed. Regardless of this, cold and warm water are always connected from below. Cold water on the right, warm water always on the left. In our case, we need this connection diagram. After the pipes have been correctly installed, according to the specification, and the wall has been plastered, the protective fleece is applied to prevent moisture penetration, in accordance with DIN 18534. Afterwards, you can finish tiling the wall or refine it otherwise. Now it's time to install the GrowTherm Smart Control Thermostat Trim Set. First, let's take a look at the tools you will need. The box contains the functional unit with all the connecting parts and the trim set. By the way, taking a look at the instructions, which are also included, certainly doesn't hurt. Now we'll start with the installation. First, cut the smart box flush with the wall using a suitable tool. Then seal the gap between the wall and the smart box with silicon to prevent moisture from penetrating the wall. Speaking of moisture, the water should be turned off at the beginning of the installation, no later than when removing the flush unit. To do so, unscrew the fastening screws in the next step. Then carefully pull the flush unit out using a pair of pliers. An additional pair of pliers can be used here to prevent the flush unit from tilting unintentionally. Now pull the plastic stoppers out of the warm and cold water input so that all pipe parts can be rinsed out as far as the intake point in accordance with regulations. After flushing, remount the flush unit. Open the water supply and flush the pipe outlets. All pipes have now been flushed as far as the intake point. Afterwards, turn the water off again. The flush unit can now be removed and disposed of properly. Now it's time to actually install the functional unit. Grease it all round and push it into the smart box. Then fix gently using two screws. The functional unit should still be able to move so that the tap can be aligned precisely horizontally or even parallel to a tile joint later on. Next, screw two screws into the functional unit as an adjustment aid. The screws should protrude out of the smart box as far as is necessary for a spirit level to be placed on top to align the unit precisely. The functional unit can later be aligned up to six degrees in both directions, which is a major advantage compared to other products. If the functional unit is aligned, tighten the fixing screws alternating between them. Then also screw in the other two screws. Now turn on the water and check that the unit is tight. Perfect! Now activate a spout, for example, the hand shower. To do so, open the spout and then measure the temperature with the thermometer and adjust it by rotating the temperature control to 38 degrees Celsius. This ensures that the 38 degrees Celsius water temperature matches the corresponding marking on the chrome escutcheon later on. It is important that you do not rotate this again after the temperature of the controls is set correctly until the handle is mounted. After adjustment, turn the water off again. Next, position the threaded pins and place them on the valves. You should also be able to hear and notice a slight clicking into place here. 
Measure dimension X here and compare with the specifications in the assembly instructions. This allows us to determine whether the enclosed extensions are needed. Here, it is worth making sure that the installation depth has taken place in the parameters specified on the housing when installing the smart box. In our case, no extensions are needed. Now turn all valves to the right until the cam is in the 9 o'clock position. Afterwards, remove the orange protective caps of the fixing plate and align all valve buttons in such a way that the groove is in the same position, 9 o'clock, as the previously aligned valves, in accordance with the assembly instructions. Then mount the fixing plate with four screws. In the process, make sure that the screws are only tightened by hand, as otherwise the fixing plate could become deformed, which could later result in difficulties when assembling the chrome escutcheon. Now place the protective caps with the small viewing windows on. Arrange these in such a way that the chrome finish of the adjustment button is visible. Once everything is sitting perfectly, the threaded pins can be sawed off. Important make sure that all valve spindles are open so that the pins are protruding further. We recommend placing the pipe cardboards located on the factory side of the thermostat handle back over the thermostat handle. This prevents the saw from unintentionally damaging the handle when sawing off the valve spindles. The protective caps and the sleeve can now be removed. Next comes the temperature handle. This dimension X has to be measured once and matched with the assembly instructions. This allows you to see whether extensions are needed. Then rotate the temperature handle into the 38 degrees Celsius position so that the button is pointing upwards at 12 o'clock. Then push the plastic sleeve into the handle with the marking top directed upwards and let it lock into place. To install the escutcheon now, push the button of the temperature control and rotate it anti-clockwise into a 10 o'clock position. Through this, it remains in set, and the escutcheon can now be pushed over the button to mount this flush with the wall. Then turn the button upwards again. Now screw the green plastic rings onto the adjustment button thread and clip in the printed cover caps with the matching icon. Then check whether these are sitting flush on the green ring and whether, when closed, the icons are flush with the buttons. If this is not the case, remove the respective button and adjust the position by tightening or loosening the green ring. Carefully push the chrome cover on with the flat sides facing downwards. Done! After installing the shower, the water can be turned on and the function test carried out. Perfect. Now it's time for the handover. Job done. Not so hard after all, right? You will manage it easily too.